Hey everyone, it's Heather with Tiller here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transition your Mint data into a Tiller Money Feeds powered Google Sheet or Microsoft Excel workbook. So I'm going to start out here on the Tiller console. And in this particular case, this demo user has already started their 30 day free trial of Tiller and has connected one financial institution, in this case, a credit card from Capital One. And that is the same account that I had connected over here in Mint. And so you want to connect all those same accounts that you have connected to Mint here in Tiller. You can use the Add Accounts button here to search for, find your institutions and get those connected. And so then the next step will be to go ahead and set up the first spreadsheet. I'm just going to start with Google Sheets first. Uh, so I'll click the Start with Google Sheets button here, and this is going to open the Tiller Foundation template in a new browser tab. I'll go ahead and choose Use Template here in the top right. That's going to create a copy of the foundation template in the Google Drive uh, for that user that I used to sign up for Tiller. I can follow the Install Help tab steps here to install the Tiller Money Feeds add-on and get the data filled into the sheet. In this case, I already have the add-on installed, but it's pretty easy to get that installed and connected uh, to your Google account. So here in the extensions menu, I'll find Tiller Money Feeds down at the bottom. I'll go ahead and choose Launch, and this is gonna open the add-on sidebar. Since I'm just getting started with Tiller, I'll need to go ahead and sign in to the add-on. So I'm signing into the Tiller service here via the add-on. Once I get that confirmation that I'm signed in, I can head back over to my spreadsheet, which should be just here uh, in a different tab at the top. I'll choose Get Started. I'm going to link this Google Sheet to the Tiller service. That's going to make the connections available to my financial institutions. I'm going to go ahead and select that one credit card account that I have connected to Tiller and choose Confirm. And while all that's happening, it's going to start filling the data into the spreadsheet for me. I'm going to head over to Mint.com and export my transaction. So I can choose the transactions options here and choose all accounts. Assuming that I have all these accounts connected to Tiller, I can just choose the all accounts option. So I'll scroll down to the bottom here and choose export 41 transactions. So that's going to download a CSV file onto my computer. Uh, and in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and open up that CSV file in a separate Google Sheet. And so I can just open a new browser tab and type in sheets.new. And that's gonna open up a blank Google Sheet and then I can choose File, Import. I'm gonna upload that CSV file that I downloaded. And in this step, I'm just trying to get the categories that I had um, in my Mint data over into my Tiller spreadsheet. So I'll just go ahead and say, Insert New Sheets, and then I'll click Import Data, and that's just gonna import it into this uh, sort of prep Google Sheet that I'm using here. So there's my mint data. And so, as I said, I'm just trying to get those categories. So I'm just going to use a quick formula that says equals unique. And then I'm going to put in the range F2 through F. And so this is just going to get a list of the categories that mint automatically assigned. So I'm going to copy those. I just use command C here on my keyboard. Okay, so here I'm going to choose paste special values only. And then I'm not gonna worry about the group right now. I can come back to that in a little bit. So I've got my categories from Mint into my Tiller Foundation template. So the next step is to go ahead and get that Mint transaction data into the spreadsheet. And so you can see here in my transaction sheet, that process of connecting Tiller Money Feeds to the sheet, it filled in uh, all the data for that credit card that I had also connected to Mint. And so I can, you know, I can decide how much of the data I want to actually import from Mint. Uh, in this case, it looks like, you know, I have pretty much all the same data uh, from the Mint export that's in my Tiller transaction sheet. When you first connect an account to Tiller, it can pull anywhere from 30 to 90 days worth of data. So I don't want to get duplicates. And so in this case, I'm just going to clear out the transaction data in the transaction sheet um, that Tiller filled in and import the data from the Mint export instead, because it's already categorized and I don't want to end up with duplicates. So I'm just going to select all that data and hit the 
Backspace or delete key to clear that data out. Now that data is still in our database. So if you created another spreadsheet with Tiller, it would fill all that data in. But in this case, we just want to import the data uh, from the mint export. And so the easiest way to do that in Google Sheets is to use the Tiller Community Solutions add-on. This is a separate add-on from the Tiller Money Feeds add-on. You can get it by going to add-ons here at the top and get add-ons and search for Tiller Community Solutions. I already have it installed for this Google user, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose launch here. All right, and then I'm going to head into the tools section. I'm going to go to C, import CSV line items. I'm going to click OK because I need to, it needs to add, it needs to add a column for me. And then I'm going to choose upload CSV file. These are all the different file types that are supported. So I'll upload CSV and I'll just grab that mint export CSV file, choose open. There's a couple options here. You can just kind of use the defaults uh, or you can, you know, shift the date range of the transactions that you want to import. This can be really handy if you just want to import historical data uh, into mint rather than the up to date data uh, and clearing rather than clearing all that transaction data out. You can just import historical data as well and then I don't need to filter it because there's no data and I don't need to change the date range because I cleared out that data. So I'm gonna go add to transaction sheet and it's gonna import all of that transaction data from that mint export. It's all already categorized. It's using those categories that I copied in from that mint export. Now, if you're using Microsoft Excel, um, you can use the same steps in a Google Sheet. You don't have to you don't have to link Tiller money feeds. You don't have to deal with kind of using the Google Sheets version of the add-on. Um, you could just use the foundation template, go through those steps of adding the Tiller Community Solutions add-on and importing the data into the transaction sheet in just like a blank, uh, you know, foundation template, and then copy and paste that data over into your Excel workbook uh, as an easier way to get the Mint data in because we don't have the same Community Solutions add-on for Microsoft Excel right now to do the import as I demonstrated for Google Sheets. Um, and so now that I've got the data in and it's all categorized for me, just to talk a little bit more about Tiller and how to kind of keep going in the template. So in the category sheet here, you know, one of the things that is great about Tiller is that we allow you to customize your categories. So if you decide that you don't really want to use Mint's categories anymore, but that was a great starting place, you can go through and edit the existing categories that you pasted in from Mint. Um, so let's say I want this just to be like doctors, uh, doctor visits or something like that. Um, so now I can change that category. I will want to go ahead and assign a group. So these groups, we, you know, I mentioned, don't worry about these. These are probably not going to make sense for those pasted in categories. So I can go through and actually modify this to be uh, specific to my financial situation. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and also clear the type because those probably aren't going to map to the specific mint categories anymore because they were just based on those example categories from Tiller. And so for this case, the credit card payment, you know, it's probably a transfer. So I'm going to create a transfers group. These can be whatever you like um, and just think about the group as the bigger bucket and then the categories fall into that bigger bucket. Um, so maybe the group for the kids activities is discretionary. And then maybe this is living, this is like, or maybe this is auto um, shopping, also discretionary, charity, maybe it's like giving, um, maybe health or something like that. So then one thing we'll also probably want is like a paycheck category and that's income. And then we'll need to set a type for each of these. So the transfers, that's gonna use a transfer type. Everything else except that last one was expense. I can use the fill handle here to quickly fill down expense for all of those. And then this is gonna be income. And then we don't need to hide these categories here. Uh, these columns out to the right are for setting the budget targets for each of these. So if you wanna use this template for budgeting, you can set the max that you wanna spend each month. You can quickly just set it here in the first column and it'll cascade over to the right for you. Uh, and then from there, you can update any of the categories here. So for example, you know, we've changed that one from doctor to doctor's visit. So we can see that that's um, now showing as invalid because doctor isn't an option in the list anymore. Uh, so we can quickly correct that there. You can also use the built-in filtering and sorting features. So if you click this uh, square in the upper left here and then choose the filter, just we know what we're doing. So it's okay to make these edits. 
we'll just click OK there, and then we can um, filter the transaction sheet to to just show the ones that we changed. And so, you know, we changed the only one that was showing up there, but uh, you could select doctor and then fix all the ones that uh, used to say doctor and change it to doctor visits. Um, so that's just a quick demo of how to transition into using Tiller.